So far, we've looked at the basic concept of earned value project management and how the metrics can be used as a project control tool. The most important factor in implementing a successful earned value program is measuring the project activities at a discrete enough level that the metrics are meaningful and timely. As mentioned in prior videos, I'm an advocate of the 0-100 method of recognizing earned value. Let's look at a project with two major work packages, each with a four-week duration, that are scheduled to be completed at the same time, then integrated in the next project phase. The first project has a high-level WBS with a level three work package. The project manager is reporting an SPI of one based on assigning an estimate of work complete on the deliverables. At the halfway point, the PM shows the project on schedule. The second project has a more discrete WBS, giving more control over estimating schedule and cost. This PM is using a 0-100 method of value recognition at the task level. Since we're only 10 working days into the project and backward compatibility verification isn't complete, only fully completed tasks are assigned value, and the second PM can report an SPI of 1 because the second task isn't due yet. Now let's say it's 14 days into the project and the second PM hasn't completed the second task. They would then report an SPI of 0.61, showing the project is behind schedule. The PM also reports that the task is 95% complete and work will be done in one day, bringing the SPI back to one. For our discussion, let's say the first PM hasn't completed the second functional block in their sprint either, but it is 95% done, just held up by one bug. That PM, tracking at a high level, would report an SPI of 0.98, since 98% of all work scheduled to be completed is done. 0.98 is well within normal process range, so the first PM's project doesn't appear to require any action. Here's where the first PM can get in trouble. SPI reports have indicated the project is on schedule the entire sprint, but what if a deliverable runs into a problem when it's 95% done and no work can progress? The second PM's reports, using the 0-100 method of earned value recognition, have shown risk to the schedule of the whole project, and management is aware of risk to the next phase. But now, at day 18, the first PM's project has the same completion level as on day 14, and the PM must report an SPI of 0.66. The PM now realizes that there is no chance the team can do more than six days of work in the remaining two days. Management wants to know how this schedule problem snuck up on the project. In reality, it didn't sneak up. The PM misreported the completion level by using an estimated completion level for his task instead of a 0-100 approach. That's why the most important factors in implementing a successful earned value program are measuring project activities at a discrete enough level and using the 0-100 recognition method.